What's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls. On this episode, we're talking about the Chicago Bulls versus the Phoenix Suns tonight and the three keys I have for the Bulls to try to get away with the victory. There's going to be a lot of things they have to focus on with a team like Phoenix who right now is on a winning streak and starting to play the best basketball they have been playing as well as the first time the Bulls have played them healthy. We're going to talk about all that right after the intro. Give me the hot sauce, Bob. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name is Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button so you join the family and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, we're going to get right into it. Tonight, the Chicago Bulls play the Phoenix Suns, and this is the first time we've played them with Bradley Bill, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant all in the lineup. So there's going to be a lot of things that the Bulls have to really focus on if they want to get away with a victory. Now, this is going to be a hard game. It's going to be a game that challenges the Bulls, and with Patrick Williams and Andre Drummond day-to-day -day right now, which means they might not play tonight's game, if the both of them are out as well as Zach Levine being out, the Bulls are going to have an uphill battle that they have to fight through if they want to try to even have a chance at winning this game. And there's a few things that even if they do have Drummond and Patrick Williams, they're going to have to focus on if they want to do that. So the first key of the day, we're going to get into it. First key to the Bulls winning this game is they can't let Devin Booker get off. They cannot give Devin Booker any space. The Phoenix Suns, especially when Booker's running the point, do a lot of pick and rolls and the Bulls struggle with guarding pick and rolls we've seen that Vu struggles DeMar struggles Drummond struggles everyone on this team has a hard time guarding pick and rolls and Phoenix is one of those teams that when it comes to that they know how to run these plays they have two premier shooters especially off of the pick and roll if you let Devin Booker or you let Kevin Durant run off of a screen they're most likely 90 percent of the time going to hit the shot so you have to make sure you're fighting through those screens and you're staying focused on where they are at all times this cannot be one of those games where the Chicago Bulls are over helping and they tend to leave people at the three-point line I know they do that a lot but with a team like Phoenix with the amount of scoring and shooting they have on this team that's only going to destroy you if you go too far off of your man and leave them in the corner or at the wing for an open three now, a good thing with the Bulls is that they are playing better defense. The scary part is, are they going to be focused enough to stick to that the entire game? Because the Bulls have been playing well. They've been doing a good job, especially sometimes when Zach's out, they tend to focus a little bit more because they know they don't have him on the, on the floor. They have to really make sure that they stay focused the whole game. This is not one of those games where if they do take a lead, they can take their foot off the gas. If you give Phoenix any type of room, they will catch up. If you don't play well enough and they take a lead and you don't step up, they will destroy you and take off on you, giving you a 20-point deficit. You have to stay focused this entire game. There is no losing your mind at all. If you lose your man, you're going to lose this game. Now, that takes me into point number two, key number two for this game. The Chicago Bulls have to get out on the fast break yep they have to keep the ball moving we know the bulls are at their best when they're playing good defense and that takes key one if the bulls can stay consistent on defense if they can keep their mindset on stopping booker and kevin durant and force the phoenix suns to make turnovers they could get out into the fast break and get easy baskets because the phoenix suns not only are a good offensive team but if they really want to play you they can play you defensively as well you cannot sleep on kevin durant's size he is an offensive powerhouse but he also can get some blocks and really make you change your shot at the rim they have to be smart they have to run this game the bulls have kobe white Ayo DeSumo, Patrick Williams, DeMar DeRozan, they have to move the ball in the fast break, get out, and get to getting downhill. If the Bulls can do this, if the Bulls can really focus on their defense and getting out on fast breaks, it's going to help them make sure they're not too focused on the half-court game because the Bulls suck at half-court game. We've noticed this, right? As much as I love Kobe 
And maybe it's because we don't run the ball through him as much. The Bulls struggle when it comes to a half-court game, right? They are having a lot of trouble not being stagnant. And that's one of the reasons you miss Zach Levine on this team. Because Zach is one of those players that in the half court, if everything breaks down, he can say, hey, give me the ball, I'll ISO, and I'll find a way. We also have that in DeMar DeRozan, but you cannot expect DeMar to be the sole person who has to do that every single time you see your team get stagnant. And this is one of those games where if you get stagnant, it's over. Right? They're going to have to play nearly a perfect game if they want to see the victory. And them playing in the half court means Kobe White taking the ball, driving, and hitting the open man. And that takes me to key number three. Key number three to this game is hit the open three-point shooters, and they have to make those open shots. The Chicago Bulls are a great team. They look amazing when they're hitting the three. The issue is they don't do this consistently. We have games where we shoot out of the gym, right? And it looks like we can't miss a shot. But most of the time, the Bulls aren't doing that. Most of the time, the Bulls are shooting 30% from three, right? 25% from three. They suck at hitting open threes a lot of the time, and that's because we rely a lot on people who are not three-point shooters to be some of our main shooters, okay? With Zach out, Kobe and DeMar get a lot of pressure. They get a lot of double teams. Vooch is not a three-point shooter. We rely on him a lot to make threes. Ayo DeSumo is not a three-point shooter. He's at his best when he's getting out on the fast break and getting downhill. But we rely on him to shoot consistently because he's the one who's left open in the corner or at the wing. We also hope that, you know, as much as I love him... <laughs> As much as I love him, Alex Caruso is great defensively. He's been shooting lights out this year, but this is not Alex Caruso's game. He's not a 3 and D player. He may develop into one, but for you to require Alex Caruso, Ayo Desumu, DeMar DeRozan, and Vooch to be your three-point barrage type of people if Kobe drives and kicks, that makes it scary because when one of them's off, it seems like all of them are off. The Bulls are a team that either all are shooting great from three or having a struggle all at the same time. You have to fix that, right? This is something where if the Bulls can continue to hit the open three, if they can hit the open man, it opens up the offense, gives Kobe some lanes, and it makes you have to think. If Kobe knows he can drive to the basket, pass it out, and he doesn't have to worry about you making that shot, a lot of time he has some more freedom on what he can decide to do. As well as if the rest of the team is shooting well, a lot of time Vooch doesn't need to be out on the three-point line, and he can focus on being in the paint. But with that, what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys. Right, there's a lot of things that the Bulls do. There's a lot of things that the Bulls focus on and want to do their best with when it comes to this team. But what do you think the main key to this game is? Do you think it's stopping Devin Booker? Do you think it's getting out on the fast break? Or do you think it's hitting those open threes? What I want you guys to do is comment down below. Let me know what your main key, even if it's not one that I put out, what is your main key? key to the Bulls getting a victory in this game and with that like I usually say if you guys are liking the channel if you like the visuals you like the content and you like this quality of this ESPN style work please leave a comment share the video subscribe and make sure you're checking out the next videos I'll see y'all tonight after the video I'll be probably making a video tonight if I'm being honest the night's game is pretty late so it'll probably have a video that pops out tomorrow all that y'all have a great day Peace.